Hello everyone, welcome to my island. Um, I am going to be doing a butternut squash today. Um, it's a simple, simple uh, recipe that I have, but you can you can use it as like a baked potato too. You can go ahead and put the, I'm not sure about the sour cream, but you can just put butter on it um, and uh, try it out for yourself. I've never tried it out that way, but I saw some recipes of it. But what I like to do on this one, I like to do honey. Um, just go outside and squeeze a couple bees and get some honey. Um, we have some salt and brown sugar as well as cinnamon. Uh, and duh, we need some butternut squash, some water and a pan. I already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna cook this for 45 minutes, but all we're gonna do is grab the knife. Tasha's not here, so it's okay to do this. And get your fingers out the way. There we go. Just cut it right down the middle. I'm gonna get an extra bowl here to get the seeds out, but it's really easy to uh, get the seeds out. I'm getting the second spoon because I'm using the other spoon for honey and not gonna dip. Not gonna double dip with that spoon. So just take it, go in a circle, bam. And that's all you do, just scoop out the middle. Okay, the oven is preheated. I just cooked a gooey, gooey butter cake. If you haven't had my gooey butter cake and you're watching this in the month of September of 2022, um, I do have uh, them for 25% off one and on the same order. If you order two, you get 35% off the second. Please email me at brandonclark1976 at gmail.com and I can uh, send you a uh, total with shipping and handling all you gotta do is uh, give me your address and I'll shoot that right on over for you and also I got Luna shirts this month uh, on sale for 20% off so email me to let so let me let you know how to get that 20% off Okay, and this is very simple. I grow these outside. Um, the ones I grow in Illinois, I'm not sure uh, if there's a lot more dead bodies in the ground uh, that people hide because it is a pretty bad state. That the, maybe the, the ground is more, uh, uh, has more nutrients or something. Uh, but here in Mississippi, uh, watermelons grow really good that I have some good watermelons. But usually my butternut squash is like three times bigger than this. But that's what, that's what she said. Okay. There we go. So that's all it is to that. So first thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the pan. So if I make a mess, it won't go everywhere. So I'm gonna just place them in this pan like so. There you go. And you pour water in the bottom of this, uh, maybe like a half inch and you might wanna check it but I do hot water so the oven doesn't have to work as much to get the water uh, heated up. If you put cold water, it's probably gonna take a little longer. But I do mine for about 400 degrees, 45 minutes, shut the oven off and let it sit in there for like 10 or 20 minutes and then you're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna throw some honey in there. But this is from the honeybees I got outside. I do not, do not sell this. Uh, friends and family might get some, but Right now, we are going to glaze this honey. Most of the honey you just want to put in the, the crevice right there where we took the seeds out. And now that's a, that's a delightful treat. Uh, I'm going to show you how I eat it, and there's two different ways that you can do it. Um, but I'll show you that afterwards. There you go. Mm. Next thing you do. You want to put extra in the crevice, just go ahead and do it up like so. And then a little bit on the outskirts there. Yep. And much as you want, who cares? You only live once, YOLO. Okay, let's put it all in there. Okay. A little salt, just a little salt, but There we 
go. Helps it sweat a little bit. I guess I took a bath in salt because I sweat a lot. Okay, and we got the cinnamon. People, cinnamon does not go on chili. If you're in Cincinnati, the only reason why people in Cincinnati do it because it has a lot of N's and I's in it. It's like spelt kind of like Cincinnati. You don't have to put it in your chili. It doesn't taste good. Okay, well I got the water in. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of it in. And going over to the oven. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You just set it and forget it. You just set it and you forget about it. Just set it and forget it. You just set it and then forget it. You just set it and forget it. Set it and forget about it. I'm coming, I'm coming. folks 45 minutes and like I said uh, usually I keep it in 20 more minutes but I wanted to hurry up and get this video for you guys um, let me get a sexy shot for you Okay, there you have it. Um, it's not very difficult to do uh, at all. Um, it is really hot, so I can't show you how I eat it. Um, some people get a spoon and carve around and, and keep it, like, just like potatoes, they don't eat the um, shell of the potato, the outside skin. But this right here is a little bit thicker than a potato, so if you don't do that, I know you probably won't do what I do. But what I do is just pick it up and I cradle, I cradle the sack uh, right here this is the sack like the round sack I cradle the sack and then I eat the uh, top part and I save the sack for last because all the juices are in there um, the honey the cinnamon uh, the uh, what else the brown sugar so uh, that is just this like a gush like a gut like them candy them gushers it's like a gush in your mouth right at the end you save that good sack for last there you go. Oh, I can't, I can't turn sideways. It's going to spill out. I can't show you. I'll bring the camera over here. Okay. Okay, folks, there you have it. Um, another um, delicious meal you can cook yourself. It's not even hard to do. Um, so please, please, please. Let me do this over. Okay guys, there you go. Another delicious meal that isn't even hard to make, um, like three or four ingredients. Um, you can switch it up and try the baked potato method uh, by putting butter and sour cream on it. Um, well, after it's done, put the sour cream on it. Uh, maybe some cheese. I'm not really sure on the cheese part, but maybe in another video I might try that to see how I like it. But I really do like it the sweet uh, way. Uh, I know I'm kind of sweet already, but hey, uh, got to keep that sweet going. So shh, that didn't even make no Hey guys, there's the vi Woo! <coughs> okay guys, there you go. Another 
easy meal. Um, about four or five ingredients. Um, you can do it the savory way by putting butter on it and maybe the sour cream afterwards and cheese and stuff. Not really sure how that will turn out, but I know I like it this way. And maybe another time um, when we grow it next year, please remind me and I will try to do the uh, savory way and see how that goes. And we'll see how I like it. But uh, with this, just the brown sugar, the honey, the salt, and uh, the cinnamon, it's delicious. So uh, please try it out. Let me know how you like it in the comments. Um, if you had it before or if you never had it and you're willing to try, go ahead and try it out. Real simple. Can't mess it up. Well, you can, but if you do, stop cooking. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments. Uh, and respond to you so i do like to interact with you guys uh, please share the video with your friends family even your boss and have a great day let's meet other plans